What's up? We're back with another video. Uh, today we're going to be doing baller on a budget. Uh, what that is, is we're going to do some cap testing with the Valspar paint, uh, but also throwing in a little something special, uh, the flame orange in the black. Basically what I used to do before I was at the Primo was, you know, I used a lot of Walmart paint, Rust-Oleum, Valspar, you know, you name it. I've, I've gone the full gamut, but I'd always have like a secret weapon, you know, a can of Molotov or, or something really nice like a can of Montana to do my outlines with. And that's how I would dress up my pieces back in the day. So what we're going to do is, uh, I guess we're going to paint a piece. I don't even know what I'm doing in this video. So you're going to be surprised along with me. Basically, I'm going to rock a bunch of cheap paint, some Valspars, and we're going to outline it with this flame orange and then do our splash with some flame blue. And that'll dress it up. Uh, because they're much more opaque and you'll give me much crisper, cleaner lines. So I got two Valspar caps that I've been wanting to preview. Um, this is long on the waiting, so sorry for being lagging on this, but uh, I got two caps here. I got the Valspar HO, which is the blue dot cap right here, the high output, and then I have the Valspar Tagger's Choice. These are both the fat caps available for the Valspar cans. I don't know which one I like yet, so I want to give both of them a try today, and we can see how they compare to each other. So let's start out with the HO cap, and I'm using Valspar Color Radiance. I put it in front of the heater. It's pretty cold out right now, so I put it on a heater. It feels really nice. This color is called Nautical. One thing about the Valspar caps is I've yet to been able to seat these caps without spraying a little bit, so keep that in mind. In order to get it to seat, it will spray just slightly. So let's go over here and first let's test the caps out, see how they spray. We'll do some of my basic tests that I always do with caps. So remember, this is nautical, nautical with the HO cap. So I'm gonna do about arm, arm length away from the wall. It's a soft spray there, half of an arm length, solid line. Okay, now let's do a flare. So as you see, it's not, it's not too wide, but it puts out a lot of paint. So if you need a fill, it would be a great choice for someone who wants a thick filling. Let's do a fade. Man, this paint's watery. It's nothing like the Molotov, that's for sure. You can get a pretty clean fade line with it. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, let's do some dots. Woo, watery. And let's do a star. Very much more watery than the Molotov and Flame products, but that's okay. As you see, it comes out pretty fast, so you can do a pretty quick line, but the characteristics of this cap probably aren't the most exciting. You know what I mean? It's a, it looks like a thick stock tip to me is, is the best way to describe it. But the one thing I've noticed is it doesn't clog very easily. So if you need something with more output than the stock tip, to fill in quickly. This might be a great choice. All right, so let's check out the next cap. All right, up next is uh, the one that I call Tagger's Choice because I've caught some tags with it and uh, been pretty fond with it. Make sure it's seated properly. Let's take a look at it over here. First, let's do a dot. See how much cleaner it is than the other cap? Flare. Definitely flares better too. Fade. Much cleaner with the fades as well. Much, much cleaner. And then we'll do a little star as well. This cap seems lower pressure than the other one actually, now that I'm using them side by side. Um, but you are getting a nice, look at that dot, like a perfect little dot like that, like an old school New York fat almost, right? Oh yeah, let's do a half arm length. I think one full arm length is too long. Yeah, see you're getting that nice little halo, just like the old school caps. Oh yeah, much nicer. So, as far as like feel goes, I prefer this cap myself. Now, if you were trying to do a fast fill, I think the other one might be a better choice, but for tagging, piecing, outlining, uh, anywhere where you want a sharper, cleaner line, I think this is gonna be a much better choice for you. So let's paint something, huh? All this garbage that we got on this thing, let's, let's do something. This is actually a good, this is a good wall to use too because it's covered and grilled. So this is a real life scenario, if you will, where you would be, you know, at a wall and you want to go over or something and you know, you got to deal with this.
So we'll go ahead and start filling in. Remember, this is the Tagger's Choice cap. And uh, it's a softer spray than the other, but you still get really nice coverage. Definitely do. But it's definitely a softer, smoother spray. In fact, this cap, to me, is about as close as you can get to that feeling of a European spray paint on a Valspar can. Let's fill in with the blue cap now. So it doesn't look as wide and it's definitely more runny, but the layer of paint that you get with the high output is far superior. It's a very thick coating. So if you're trying to hit a freight or something where you really want a thick coverage, this will probably be the cap you want. It just, it's like butter dog, straight up. All right, we're looking good. See this on the other cap? See how inconsistent the fill is? While I do, I do appreciate the feel of this cap much more for outlines, fades, and all that stuff. It definitely doesn't put out as much paint. It doesn't have the go gusto, if you will. So keep that in mind. Um, see if I come back with this guy, We'll fill all that stuff in. All right. All right, so that's our top fade. Let's get our second color. This is a Valspar color called Sonic Lime. Such a great name. And again, this is the, uh, what did we call it? What did we call this cap? The high output cap. Definitely does have a high output. I'll give it that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Come on, hurry up, the cops are coming. Just kidding. The cops aren't coming. <laughs> Seriously though, if you're a young bomber, don't don't hit up in your small hometown because you will get caught and you'll get arrested. Go to college, get an education, and go to a big city that's in the process of gentrification because that's where you're needed. You are needed in that change of gentrification, the graffiti kids. Don't forget that. All right, so let's go ahead and fill this in. shade of this color if you're a if you're a baller on a budget and you want something that looks very similar to the poison green in the Molotov line this might be something you might want to consider the shade is pretty close um, man it is watery and I will I, in, in full disclosure to give uh, Valspar the benefit of the doubt it is pretty cold right now um, I don't know what the temperature is but it's it's just barely above freezing which is uh, asking a lot of an American spray paint. Most American paints just, uh, they don't work in the cold very well. And that goes for Rust-Oleum, Valspar, and all the brands, really. If you want better winter coverage, I'd highly recommend the Molotow Premium and the Molotow Covers All Paints. Uh, in my testing, they have seemed to be the most uh, usable in cold weather. All right, so let's go ahead and keep filling. All right, so now I'm gonna fade down with that blue again. Nautical, that's such a great name for a color. So just doing a dusty back. Just down duster. These don't fade as good as the Molotow cans and also there's a crosswind. I don't know if you can see, half of my paint is going away from me. Um, but that's okay, that's close enough. Well, we're just messing around, aren't we? Are we just messing around? All right, I think we can do some bottom bubbles and uh, 
We have classic royal blue in the Valspar. Oh, nice shade. Oh yeah, I like that. All right, so if you ever get this, guys, you see how the color is kind of changing right there? Um, that's just from poor agitation. It's kind of my fault. I got lazy. But that usually will fade out. Um, I've even seen Molotow cans do it, so I'm not gonna get too mad at Valspar for that. It just happens sometimes. Okay, let's not get too crazy with the bubbles. I know I can do that sometimes. Boy, it's windy today. You can see how like you can see how the wind's just like blowing my dots over like that. All right, let's do our backsplash. You don't have a lot of money, but you got a few bucks, so you sprang for a couple cans of paint. You were smart, this is a great idea. And you know, I get a lot of customers hit me up all the time. They're like, oh, I'd love to buy paint from you, you know, but I can't afford to buy, but, you know, I don't, I don't care, guys. Just, just get yourself a couple cans. You will be convinced, trust me. What I'm gonna do is I have this half can of flame orange in, uh, what is it, signal red? Yep, and then I got a signal red quarter can in the flame blue. All right, so let's see how they work. I'm gonna use these for my splash. I think they'll contrast nicely with the greens and the blues. Wouldn't you agree? All right, so this is the flame orange. And as you can see, this is with the New York fat cap. I'm getting a much cleaner, controllable line with it. And the coverage, this is a red, mind you. Reds tend to uh, not cover very well at all. And, um, covers pretty decently. It might take a couple coats, but that's okay. I think that's plenty. Just on the parts where the black is, just hit it a little bit heavy over the black. Oh yeah, that worked great. All right, maybe a little splash up here. And then bring some splash out here like this. This is purely organic, guys. You don't have to do anything fancy. Just whatever you want to do. I have to tell you, I understand what it's like to have to use like cheap American paints, but uh, do yourself a favor and just spring for a couple cans of the fancy stuff. Just for your, your bubble backgrounds, your outlines. It'll just make your job a lot easier. I'll tell you that. Wow, look at that. That's the gold, um, that's the gold texta marker bleeding through the red right there. I didn't even know that would happen. That's kind of an interesting uh, circumstance. This is a synthetic paint. Let's see if the acrylic will go over it. Remember, these are two different paint formulas. Synthetic, like Montana Black, and acrylic, like Montana Gold. So far, the acrylic seems to cover it better, although I bet it'll eat through in just a second. It's pretty cold right now, so that's expected. Oh, man. These are so much smoother to paint with. So much more enjoyable. Even in this cold weather, they're, they're doing great. It's fantastic. All right, so what were we doing here? This was this up here. That was this up here. So we're going right over that chrome like it's no one's business. Look 
Looking good, guys. Looking good in the hood. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh. That is heaven. What you'll notice is the valve will feel so much better. And just the slightest touch, you can get a nice little bit of spray. Or if you just want to open it up, press it all the way down. However you want to do it. Um, but what this will, this will allow you to do is paint with the cheap paint and uh, clean up your work a lot easier. Because here's the deal, guys. I want you to get in and get out as quickly as possible without a bunch of lollygagging. That's why you need these. Alright, this can's about dead. Let's see if we can uh, stomp on it. Get a little bit more out of it. Here's a little trick um, that I learned from scene, I think it was actually, was to stomp on the cans. Look at that. Now only do this on a can that's completely empty. If you do it on a full one, it might explode on you. So anyway, this can was dead. Look at that, I got more paint out of it. Probably won't have enough to cover it, but at least I was able to scrape those last little dregs out of the bottom of the can. Oh yeah. Damn, look how much I'm getting out of <laughs> All right, I think it's finally dead. But man, this was a, what was this, like a quarter can? Got a lot of coverage for a quarter can. Not too shabby. And as these are both the same color and different paint lines, the formulas are different. Um, but the colors will work together just fine. You shouldn't see any tonality differences between the two because the pigment the formula is different, but the pigment will be the same. All right, so we've dusted both of these cans of red, which is great, because I have like no room in my paint rack. First world problem, first world problem. So let me go ditch these really quick and we'll get to the next step. Doodads, some doodads on it. All right, so you scrimped and saved, you got a few cans of fancy paint, and one of them is this beautiful can of flame orange black. It's a synthetic paint, very similar to Montana black, but I'm using a New York fat cap on it because I like fat cap pieces. I'm a, you know, I grew up as a bomber kid, you know, so, so we'll just do a big, thick, fat outline and we'll call it good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, perfect. Oh, perfect. Here comes the hard line. Yeah, not too bad. All right. I got the basic outline. There's a few things you can do. You can just leave it. You can put a 3D on it. Um, you can cut back. Um, but we're pretending like we're at the streets at night. We don't have 
have time for cutbacks. We don't have time to do that. So I'm just gonna do a little quick 3D on it and then uh, put some shines on it, call it good. All right, when you're doing your 3D, just figure out what direction you want to do it. And go that way. Oh man, this black is great. One thing that I've noticed is um, the flame, the synthetic flame, if you use it over the acrylic flame before the acrylic flame has dried, it will crack. And what's happening is the paint dries, it actually shrinks a little bit. So if you have a layer underneath that's drying at a slower rate, which the acrylic does dry at a slower rate, what's gonna happen is as it, sh as it dries, it shrinks and the layer above's already dry and it pulls it apart. That's why you get the cracking. No big deal, just wait for it to dry, hit it again. All right, so let's just go ahead and uh, put a baby 3D right here. Don't forget your baby 3Ds on your overlaps, guys. Don't forget that. So I used three key caps in this video to do this basic straight letter, and uh, that would be the New York Fat Cap, uh, the Valspar High Output, and the Valspar um, Tagger's Choice. Now I've been using the High Output for a lot of stuff, but honestly for most of what I, I tend to paint, I think the Tagger's Choice is going to be better for me. I like the way it flares, I like the cleaner lines that I get out of it. If I was back in my youth again bombing a lot, I'd probably use this other one for, for fill-ins and stuff like that. But for just straight up tags and clean lines, the Tagger's Choice is really unparalleled for the Valspar paint. My favorite. So stop what you're doing and get some Tagger's Choice caps right now. That was a quick and easy straight letter in less than, what was it, like 10 minutes? We're done. We're done. You're out. You're done. And uh, you got a nice clean outline because you scrimped and saved for a few cans of quality paint to clean up your work. And now you don't have to do a bunch of cutbacks. All right, dope, so we did a basic straight letter with no cutbacks, nothing, just in and out, you're gone. You left your mark on society. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed our quick little straight letter uh, video. If you guys wanna see more, definitely click on the links. We got plenty of videos up there. Uh, be sure to hit subscribe, son. We're almost at 60,000, 60K, I can't believe it. Um, I also have one video that's almost at a million, I'm so excited. But I just wanna say thank you to all the subscribers and uh, Please be sure to tell your friends about us, share our videos, and always, always be sure to shop at artprimo.com because when you put food on our table, we put more graph supplies in your pocket. All right, thanks a lot, guys. We really appreciate it. Um, hope to see you soon. We got some more videos coming up next week, so definitely keep your peepers peep. We'll see you there.